I found this wood plaque at Michael's for $14.99 and I started by painting it in our white primer. Michael's had a lot of these new plaques and they have the metal rim around them. You can either get black or like a brass color. And this has the brass going around the edge. And I'm going to be using our um, Mingo's tissue paper. I'm going to start by placing my image and creating a frame with my finger. And then I'm going to take a razor blade and go around and um, cut where the circle is. This one's going to be a little bit harder. Once you apply it, you're not going to be able to sand around that edge like I normally do. So I wanted to get the um, circle pretty precise between where the wood and that metal starts. Which the metal was a great guide. You can feel it while you're using your razor blade. So once I um, created my circle, I'm then going to take my one hour enamel clear. You can find this in a four ounce container at chalkitupfancy.com. Goes a long way. I'm using a Gen foam brush and just applying it all over the um, primer and then laying my paper down. I'm doing this in two sections, one on the right and one on the left and laying my paper down. Now at this point, you don't wanna over touch it. So that's when I grab some Saran Wrap as a barrier because now you have your papers now wet. And I'm gonna take a brayer and go around and roll this just to make sure that my tissue paper has made contact with every portion of this board so we have no lifting. And it also is great at removing wrinkles. You can also find this brayer at chalkitupfancy.com. I'm just gonna go and remove this top portion with the razor blade. And any pieces that I have um, over, you know, over went on that metal rim, which wasn't much. And then I'm gonna apply my second coat of the one hour enamel clear and set this aside to dry. Once dry, I'm gonna take a little bit of black and I'm just gonna go around this edge. Sometimes when you cut tissue paper, it, you can, it appears white and it was kind of standing out, so I just wanted to make that white black. So I just kind of made it look like a little blended area around that edge. I'm gonna be using our Watercolor Lush Transfer by Redesign by Prima. It's one of our smaller transfers. You can find that at chalkitupfancy.com. And I'm gonna make floral hats on my mingos. This transfer actually went perfect with this paper. And the colors just um, did what I wanted it to. And our transfers, you're just gonna lay them down and you use the little craft stick inside your package and you're gonna use that to rub your transfer on. Once on, you are going to want to burnish with a piece of cloth. I did another spray of flowers down between the two of them. Making sure I'm rubbing these on really well. This just ensures good adhesion. I found this stencil at the Dollar Tree. It comes in almost like a little spiral. And I'm just gonna take some of the stencils and go up the neck of the Mingos with my Cleopatra Gold. This is our Heavy Metals by Wise Owl. You can find that at chalkitupfancy.com. And this is just gonna give it some interest, kind of like a little mixed media. And it kind of makes it my own. Just want to bring that brassy gold in that's around the rim. I'm going to take a little bit more of the Cleopatra gold, kind of water down, and just outline my mingos here and there just to pull everything together. 
and now you have this really cute sign that you could put on your front door um, or in your bathroom by your pool really anywhere in your home I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfer, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.